Aloha. Did you know that you can insert a photo inside a cell? Today, we'll go over how to better manage images in your Excel workbook. Do you find yourself getting frustrated when you have to add images to your Excel workbook? Traditionally, the way we do this is by copying an image and pasting that directly on our worksheet. However, the problem is, the image seems to be on top of the cells, not inside. This means that we have to manually adjust its size to match whatever layout we have on our Excel tables. Not only that, if we have to adjust the size of our table, we will have to readjust our image's size manually as well. Thanks to this new function called Image. This inserts images into cells from a source location along with alternative text. You can then move and resize cells, sort and filter, and work with images within an Excel table. First, we need to define where the source of our image is. Say it's for a product that your business is reselling. Once you find the image on their website, simply right-click and choose Copy Image Link. Then head back to Excel, under Formulas tab, click Insert Function. Type in Image, then press Enter. Paste the link that you copied earlier and add an alternative text. This is typically a short description of your image that you can use for filtering. You can then define what the sizing of your image will follow. We'll discuss this further shortly. As you can see, the image is now inside the cell. Sizing is more dynamic and consistent to your table layout. And as mentioned earlier, you have sizing options to meet your specific table layout. You have the option to fit the image in the cell and maintain its aspect ratio. You also have the option to maintain the original image size, which may exceed the cell boundary. Finally, you can set a custom size by using the height and width arguments. This is measured in pixels. Let's try adding another image, shall we? And this time, we'll use the formula bar instead. Let's start by grabbing the link of our source image. Next, select the cell, head over to the formula bar, and type equals image open parenthesis. Now, let's define the source, add an alternative text, then define the size. Setting the size to 1 will fill the cell with the image and ignore its aspect ratio. Here's a trick. If you deal with a large volume of images and see the need to repurpose or reuse an image across your Excel workbook, you can create a separate sheet to hold all of your image URLs. You can call these within the image function later on. Now there you have it, remember to use the image function when inserting images to Excel for a more dynamic, time-saving solution. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tech tips and tricks.